the voice actor from the witcher video games who plays Geralt speaks out on why Henry Cavill left the witcher welcome back to views with Hughes, your Jennifer news this is Jerome Hughes and if you haven't done so go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates all right so dual shockers reported that girl voice actor Doug Paco doesn't understand why Netflix deviated from the witcher books so in other words we have somebody else who also played a similar role to Henry Cavill on why they you know why the show decided to go ahead and then just stray away from what the fans um enjoy what the fans wanted you know and it's like another example of you know somebody else seeing that the fans know what they want and they enjoy the same thing that the fans enjoy so the guy Doug Cockle understands why Henry Carroll left the show and it says here in an interview last month at MCM Comic Con in Birmingham Geralt's voice actor Doug Cockle reflecting on the departure of Henry Cavill from Netflix is the Witcher series which says Henry doesn't said hasn't said himself yet but the chat says he's leaving because he doesn't agree with the storylines that the writers have been developing if that's the case I can completely understand that Henry is such a huge fan of the games and the books and the writers on the Netflix series have chosen for whatever reason they did so to deviate quite severely from the books and the games whether that's good or not down to what you like i personally don't understand the choice but there you go so here's the thing though and let's re um, review back to you know from the many reports that stated out there you have people who claim to be on the set working for the um show saying that you know he was difficult to work with he was toxic people wouldn't listen to him they um said that he was hard to work with so on and so forth oh and this was also put out there in a the reddit post as well as other outlets only for them to be proven wrong okay Henry Cal was well known to be a fan of the different things that he played the roles for. Just like he knows what the fans want, you know, and it, he don't even have to listen, ask, you know, what the fans, um, what they want, because he already knows what the fans want because he's a fan himself. All right. He's one of the few actors out there who understands what the fans want. He's also the fans of the same content that the um, fans love. And the thing is, he left The Witcher because of the fact that they deviated from the books as well even video games okay they decided to go ahead and um, pertain to the esg um model if you will and it's interesting enough because the ce one the co-ceo of netflix has um, spoken out against the um the platform being in um, being for continuing further into you know the esg model he actually applauded elon musk for what he's doing on the platform okay so then it says here, here he continued i think that's why henry is leaving liam more power to him i do not envy him so of course no one envies him because of the fact that a lot of people are tuning out to the show As a matter of fact from the prequel um the witcher blood origins has the lowest ratings some of the lowest ratings on netflix a lot of people spoke out against it even people in the um even though it's in the mainstream media are criticizing that um series itself okay so the witcher series has been meant on um, mirrored mirrored mired in controversy ever since it was announced that Cavill would not be reprising his role as Geralt in season four the actor hasn't revealed his reason for leaving the show but as Cocker pointed out speculation suggests that he wasn't satisfied with the writing understandably so Cavill will still feature the upcoming in the upcoming third season but won't be continuing the role afterwards Liam Hemsworth the brother of Chris Hemsworth will be replacing the popular Cavill for the fourth season and beyond. Cockle previously expressed his enjoyment of the show, tweeting in 2020, okay, finally saw all eight episodes of The Witcher. I still haven't watched it myself because I'm not really interested. Not to mention, I don't even know anything about The Witcher. The time jumps are challenging, but it all comes together in the end. The main characters are wonderfully played by a talented cast, and the world is lovingly um, realized. Bring on series two. However, series two would deviate further from the books and games, which Cockle doesn't approve of. If the rumors are true, then neither does Cavill. Okay, so we have another example of a company going ahead and straying away from the source material. Prime example, another prime example: Amazon Prime Video with Rings of Power. Okay, I can't call it Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings, because of the fact that it's not from the Lord of the Rings books. It's just um, them deviated from the source material, changing up the character stories, or arcs, adding additional characters that's not featured in the book. This is taking a small portion of the epilogue 
I mean, excuse me, prologue of a book of novel and then trying to extend it out for five seasons. Okay. And st also start trying to get, um, make uh, stories from the things that they don't have the rights to. So if they don't have the rights to it, then why in the world do they have, are they even making the show period? Even the prequel to the Witcher blood origins doesn't have anything to do with the source materials. Okay. It's, um, the Witcher is from, as I told, I've been told the po a Polish um, folklore. Okay. If you watch the blood origins and see the characters and everything, exactly how many um Polish people back then do you know of that were black, Asian, or so on and so forth? You know, even Polish people are not a part of the projects. Now there was a a, a, a movie I think that came out in '97 of The Witcher with Polish actors and everything. I I heard that you know the visual effects were bad and all of that. But it was um with the source within the source material, okay. But as far as that concerned, a lot of people are still upset. But at the same time, they've tuned out and they've moved on to um better things. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. What do you think about you know more actors and voice actors coming forward stating that against um against the companies that's putting out these contents that they're straying away from the source material and specifics with the witcher let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below let me know where i went wrong in the video also if you enjoy what i shared in the video go ahead and smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates until then peace